fall is a very common problem in elderly. Elderly over the age of 60 have a 30% chance of falling in a given year and quite a lot of them fall again. Our current sort of total of falls is, accounts for about 10% of our total workload. Um, when you think of the sort of numbers of heart attacks etc, falls far outweighs the numbers of calls we get for, for perceived sort of serious conditions like that and um, the majority of falls are for patients that can be kept at home and dealt with within the community. Uh, falls uh, is economically very expensive. A single stay in falls, if somebody comes in the hospital they could end up staying for 17 days to 18 days or longer. Hip fracture can stay up to six weeks. And hip fracture is very expensive, cost of which could be 12 to 15,000 pounds, up to 25,000 pounds. And there are roughly about 700 hip fractures per annum in Gwent. And about 3% of uh, admission to a hospital are a result of falls. What we've done is to um, introduce pathways where the patient is kept at home after assessment, whereas prior to that the patient was left at home and there was no referral, so the patient didn't see anyone until they fell again. From harm point of view, we could look at it to different ways. Uh, that harm which could occur as a result of injury and harm that could occur as an emotional problem. Uh, emotional harm is uh, actually not assessed that very well. A person who has fallen, who is really frightened, could lose their independence. The, the call is, is received as a 999 call uh, and if they feel that the patient is um, not injured and doesn't need to go to hospital they will make a quick assessment which we call a red flag assessment and that basically rules out any potential problems to the patient if we leave them at home. Then they can say you know would you like a, a referral to a falls team. First and foremost we try and do is really give them confidence which is most important for them. They are really frightened of falling again. It's a fear very very difficult to overcome. Attending a falls clinic, in fact, that gives them that confidence. A lot of people who fall don't come into our attention because elderly people actually think that's a normal aging process, and it isn't. People fall for a reason. One particular lady had run something like 40 times in, in three months, and each time it was because she had fallen. So ultimately the patient was taken into hospital every time, discharged, and fall again, and, and, the, and the pattern repeated. Um, within a week of the, the falls referrals being implemented, um, this lady was attended by a crew who made the referral and ultimately it, it um, showed that she only needed a couple of handrails um, and we haven't heard from her since. Helping ambulance men to tackle these fallers and in prevent them from falling would save a lot of money. Well it certainly reduces the, uh, the number of unnecessary admissions to hospital. Um, and it has certainly given the paramedics more confidence to deal with patients in their own homes and make referrals and, and make sort of links with other agencies that they can then come and, uh, and deal with the patient. Thousand Lives Plus is important for me because it has brought multi agencies together across Wales who have got the same vision of preventing falls, improving quality of life for my patients. But since our involvement with the Thousand Lives Plus in particular, we found that the data sets that they've they've uh, allowed us to use and, and helped us in fact to sort of set up has been invaluable in, in evaluating the numbers of, of falls that we actually refer and therefore we can assess how much we, we need the, the sort of pathways in other areas as well. Hopefully we'll be able to spread good practice and disseminate good practice, share good practice and a similar vision across Wales which I'm hoping to be a great success.